the ANC was founded on the principles of non-racialism, um, non-sexism, democracy, and a prosperous society. And hence, it's not an issue of who's more racist or not. The bottom line, so the declared foundation is wrong. The more bottom line here is that the fact that there is a myth that apartheid has created and that the declared foundation is strengthening that the examples about black people are like baboons, or what is it, monkeys. The fact that black people are more racist than white people, those echoes from foundations, those are very wrong things. It essentially tells me that the mentality of those that are saying those things through the Clare Foundation is exactly the mentality of a, I think, Marika de Clare, when she said in the middle 80s, that colored people are not white, they're not black, and therefore they're not human beings. It says something to the fact that Helen Ziller was able to call black people from the Eastern Cape children refugees in their own land. It says something about the fact that Helen was able to call saying that black women in parliament is only interested to come and eat there. Those are the hard realities, and we are saying that's unacceptable. We fought for a non-racial society. My own reading about this is the period in 94, we, the, the, the liberation movement's leaders reach out with hearts, mind, and soul for a new democracy. It was, it's very clear to us that those that were the apartheid in forces was forced to that negotiating table, they didn't have a choice. Mm. But then they reach out for the moment and not with body, heart, and soul. And therefore I call them sleepers, and we are seeing the potential, the potential through the Fees Must Fall campaign, the potential on the 16th of December, where white people across the country suddenly came from everywhere in Cape Town and said, we now uh, are, are claiming our stake. The potential of a strategy that Zuma must fall, a very wrong potential. In this, I call it a strategy of a coup d'etat approach, a regime change approach. And the ANC says, no, we fought for democracy. You've got space every five years to elect your leadership. Use that moment. We will not tolerate.